Hello, Riley and Eureka friends. I'm back with your lesson for e-learning week two in the art studio. And we're gonna read a book about an artist named Clementine Hunter. This book is called Art From Her Heart by Kathy Whitehead and Shane Evans. Clementine waited until her work in the big house was done and the twinkle of the stars filled the night sky above the Cane River. She was ready to paint, like the artist that she cooked and cleaned for on Melrose Plantation. But she didn't wait for the perfect set of paints and canvas. She used the leftovers the artist gave her. Instead of canvas, she used window shades, glass bottles, black iron skillets, and old boards, whatever she could find. In the middle of her hundred years, Clementine Hunter had decided to paint. So she was 50 years old when she decided to do this. No one gave her lessons. As a girl, she had never learned to read or write. Clementine didn't like school and soon quit. She told her mama that she'd rather pick cotton. She was the oldest but the smallest of her six brothers and sisters. Her nickname was T-Bay from the French words for little baby. She called herself Clementine when she was old enough to pick flowers and haul them home in a cart. When Clementine decided to paint pictures, she didn't wait for the perfect art studio. While everyone was sleeping, she created bright colored images in the dim kerosene lights of her small cabin. She didn't wait to travel and seek inspiration in foreign lands. She drew pictures in her memory, scenes of life on Melrose Plantation. Clementine thought back to days of dragging a hundred pound sack of cotton down endless rows while her children sat under a tree in the field. Memories of picking pecans in the fall in the big pecan groves to earn extra money. She remembered wash days spent over black wash pots and clothes flapping on a clothesline. Long days of hard work and little pay. There were good times on the plantation and Clementine painted those also. Couples laughing and dancing on a Saturday night, like the dance where Clementine met her husband, Emmanuel. Simple joys like scattering feed to a flock of hungry chickens. Fishing for catfish and bream with a cane pole on the Cane River to cook at a fish fry. Clementine enjoyed fishing at the river with her grandson, but she always fished from the bank. She did not like getting in boats. Clementine painted special times on the plantation too. Pictures of a couple on their wedding day. Graduates waiting in line for their diplomas, a paper that Clementine didn't receive until the end of her later years. And children in white robes ready for their baptism in the Cane River. Her grandchildren walked into the water for their baptism Happy days that Clementine loved to paint. Clementine didn't wait for the world to find her art. She hung a sign on her gate that read, Art Exhibit, Admission 25 Cents, Thanks. People came to see her pictures pinned on a clothesline and bought them. Friends who recognized her talent gave her paints, paper, and brushes. They helped her find galleries that would display and sell her work. Years later, people lined up to see her artwork at a big museum in New Orleans, Louisiana. Another gallery proudly displayed her work, but refused to let her in the front door. She had to wait until after hours to enjoy her own pictures on display. But the laws that kept her out would soon be gone, like feed thrown to the chickens. My
just stick in. The art that poured from Clementine's heart and mind gives us a window to her life on the plantation, a window we would have missed if Clementine Hunter had waited for the perfect time to paint. The end. Friends, I love this book about Clementine Hunter because she did not wait for the perfect time to paint. She didn't wait for the perfect art material. She used what she had. Um, in the book, it said that she used window shades and old bottles to paint on. She used discarded art materials from the artist on the plantation. And she taught herself. Um, so I want you to think about that for our next lesson. I've included a link about Clementine um, below that you can click on and watch a little bit more about her life and see some of her work. And then I would like you to do a painting, a drawing, a piece of art with whatever you have available um, of a memory or a celebration that is close to your heart. Maybe it's a memory about school. Maybe it's a memory about a celebration that your family does annually or every year. Um, maybe it's just a good happy memory that you have of a time in your life or something you've done with your family. So um, do that for me this week and then post what you're doing. Uh, thank you so much for posting and participating last week. Um, I really like to see that and I'm keeping track of those um, assignments that are turned in. So post below on the um, blog comments or send me an email or visit me during my office hours and show me what you're doing and show me pictures of your museum at your house too and I will put a picture of mine down below as well. So have fun, stay safe, stay home, and make art. Bye.